Hi beautiful people, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is going to be about my hair. Uh, I get this video requested so much and today we're going to talk about my hair care routine, the products that I use, and how I keep my hair semi-healthy even though I bleach it and dye it constantly and change the color all the time. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, I am not a hair care professional by any means. I make this up as I go along, but I have found like over the years since I've been dyeing my hair since I was 12 that what works for me and what I think works best for my hair and how I've made it a lot healthier through the past couple years because my hair used to be fried. Like if you see old videos of me, my hair was fried. And it's a lot healthier now and I don't do too much to it. So today I'm going to go over my routine step by step. Also today's video is sponsored by HSI, which is one of the products in my hair care routine. But let's go ahead and get started with the first thing that I do to my hair. Okay, so first things first, I don't wash my hair that much. My hair gets very oily very fast. It could literally be the next day my hair looks oily. Um, even though it's still relatively clean, I just have a very oily scalp and my skin is so sensitive to everything that if I wash my hair too much, my scalp burns and it's very unfortunate it is what it is though so i do use a dry shampoo a lot of days i use the igk i got, got this one recently it was recommended by kristen Ann, and it is my new favorite dry shampoo i've tried a ton of them but i hate white residue and stuff so i got this one at sephora i think so this is the first class charcoal detox dry shampoo i'll leave every product to talk about today linked down below for you but this is this one it's very fancy i had to really think about if it was worth it to me because I use dry shampoo constantly, but this is like a $27 dry shampoo. It's not cheap. I had to talk myself into buying it, but I thoroughly like it. It doesn't leave any weird residue. The only thing I might see a little bit of residue is right here on my hair is the blondest. Naturally, it might seem like a little bit lighter, but I will just lift up a section, spray it, drop it back down, do the next section, spray it, and then I'll just kind of work it into the hair like this kind of activating it and kind of getting it to like soak up any oils or dirt out of my hair and it works really well this is my favorite dry shampoo I don't think I'm gonna go back to any other cheaper dry shampoos I want to try the Amica one because I've heard a lot of good things about that one but I also just I really like this maybe I'll try their other ones because they have like five different dry shampoos and I've heard great things so I like this one I'm definitely gonna try a different IGK dry shampoo and I've run out of this one and see what formula I like the best if you guys want an update on that I certainly will update you on it but right now I'm loving the first class charcoal one it's really good there's no residue and it works really fast so that's what I do most days because I don't like washing my hair that much but when I do have to wash my hair I want to scream <laughs> so I don't care particularly about shampoos or conditioners I make sure they are non-sulfate and non paraben so that doesn't strip the color out of my hair because my hair is a vegan dye this is arctic box purple rain right now of course it does change as to what dye I'm using at what time but right now I'm using purple rain by arctic box it's my most common most used color of all time I go through it quite often but it's a vegan semi-permanent dye so it does wash out when I take a shower so every time I wash my hair my hair gets lighter which is not that big of a deal but like if you go out in the rain with this hair color, mm, it's going to be dripping everywhere. It's not fun. But for dry shampoo, I mean, for regular shampoos and conditioners, I don't particularly care what they are. I've been using this one for about four months. A bottle of shampoo lasts me four months because I use a very minimal amount so it doesn't take my hair color out and so it doesn't dry my scalp out. So I've been using the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Shampoo. I got this before I moved. I had Daniel just go to the Walgreens and grab me a shampoo that had non no sulfates in it. This is what I got. I do like it. It's fine. It's not like amazing but it says it's for dry damaged hair my ends are extremely dry so i think it's a fine thing i also am almost out of this biotin boost thickening conditioner my hair is so fine so thin so horrible <laughs> but i use this and it, it works pretty well would i um have these mitched and matched though because when they were on sale daniel has different hair types than me he would grab one for his hair type of the shampoo and i would grab the conditioner of the other brand so that's what we did um when we were together i also recently got this conditioner because i'm not really crazy about the hask one too much it's okay but i feel like i've tried other hask products that i like more this conditioner i live for and i love it so much so i got this from target it's the pacifica salty waves texturizing conditioner with sea algae banana and chia for surfer girl vibe my hair is very straight this is how my hair just naturally dries i haven't straightened it i haven't touched it with any heat products but it has a tiny bit of a wave to it and i like that because my hair just looks straight to you but if you get up close to me you can see just like a little bit of waves here and there and here and i think it's pretty nice and natural looking 
So I use this as my conditioner. It smells like banana. And it smells really freaking good. Like I wish you could smell it. It smells fantastic. But I got it from Target. I use this as my conditioner. So I'll put shampoo in my hair when I first get in the shower. I'll rinse it out really quickly. And then I'll leave this in my hair and kind of bunch my hair up on top of my head. And like do all the rest. Wash, shave, whatever. I'll leave this in my hair for that length of time. And it leaves my hair with a little tiny bit of wave to it. More so than normal. If I don't put this, like if I don't put something with texture in my hair for a conditioner, my hair is completely straight and the ends flip out. And it's real awkward. But this just makes my hair flow more naturally and less meh at the ends, which I like a lot. So I really like this one. It smells great. Now after that, I will get out of the shower and I have a couple products that I apply to my hair for color and damage and all that stuff. So let's start talking about that. Now once a month, I'd say, I will take a dime-sized amount of Olaplex number three. Um, I'll leave this link down below. Number three is the only one you can buy without like a salon license or something, a cosmetology license. And I'll put a dime-sized amount and I'll run it through my wet hair right out the shower before I squeeze it out. Um, just to like let it soak in my hair to repair your hair. It's supposed to repair all your follicles and all that stuff. I have a video on it from a long time ago. It really does work and I've been trying to save it as much as possible. So I only do this about once a month once I get out of the shower. The other products that I use, I use two to three other products. But I don't want my hair because my hair is so thin, so fine and it gets oily so fast to be coated in tons of like leave-in con leave conditioners and stuff. So I use very light products. So the first thing I'll use is my HSI <laughs> um, Aragon Oil Heat Protectant Spray. So Aragon Oil is an oil that doesn't make my hair look super, super greasy, which is great. It's a very fine, it's a very fine mist. It smells like a salon. It smells so good. Like, I love the smell of this. And it's a very, very fine mist. So I've had other heat protectant sprays before that I got from, like, Walmart, and I've got from Sally's before, but their spray is very, like, darted. This is very fine mist. It just smells so good, so healthy, and like slightly floral, just a little bit, but it does help heat protect my hair. I don't know why I can't talk today. I need to get my tonsils removed. They're really bad. But, <laughs> so I'll use something like this for my heat protector. I do live in Florida now, which we know I keep talking about it. It's very weird for me to say that I live here, but it's very hot and I don't use heat on my hair all the time. Most times it just dries like this. Like I said, I just leave that texturizing conditioner that gives my hair like a little bit of movement into it. And I don't heat, I don't heat my hair up very much, but because I'm going outside and because I'm going in the environment and I might have to heat my hair a little bit to straighten it or something later on, I don't know when my hair is still wet, fresh out the shower. I use a heat protectant no matter what. I'll just take four or five spritz. Well, my hair is like a mess when I get out of the shower. So I'll just four or five spritz through my hair and I'll kind of rub it in. So it kind of soaks through the rest of my hair, not just where I shot, ooh, where I sprayed it at. And this is a really good job protecting my hair from getting damaged due to weather heat, go doing like heat protecting styling tools to it, whatever you need, this helps protect it from it and it smells great, it's a really good product and it works really well. The next thing that I'll do is leave in conditioners. So these are the two I switch between, I don't know which one I use which day, it doesn't matter, I'll pick one or the other. So this first one is the Brio Geo Rosar Rosarco Milk Leave-In Spray, I got this in a boxy charm, and I actually bought another one off Poshmark or Mercari just to have a backup of it because I really like it. It's a great leave-in conditioner, but when you spray it, it's like, it's like a very dark thing. You have to have it from a distance. It smells fantastic. It's a great leave-in conditioner. I really think it helps strengthen my hair and I really enjoy it. But again, it's a smaller bottle, so I don't use it every single time I do this. And the other times when I don't use the Rosarco Milk, I'll use the Milk Day 12-in-1 leave-in conditioner. I don't know why there's blue all over this bottle. I got it at TJ Maxx. It was $6.99. But this is a really good one. I don't know why this is discontinued. I wanted to put it in a monthly favorites. I don't know if I did, but I really enjoy this one. This one is very, it's very, it's very darted. Like I wish it had the nice fine mist that this does, but this is very like, so I only use this like two or three sprays. I'll two or three sprays from a distance with my arm at full length. And then I'll kind of run it through my hair and I'll really like get it in there. So it really gets the rest of my hair coated, not just where it darted and sprayed at me at. And that'll really help protect my hair and do a leave-in conditioner. I don't do it at the roots. I don't spray my roots with leave-in conditioner with either one of these because my roots are very oily. I have very oily roots. But my ends are so dry and so fine that I'll kind of do it to the, like, halfway through my hair and kind of, like, scrunch it in there and make it work. But yeah, 
those are the products that I use. And then, like today, I have important things to do tonight. And I am going to use a heat thing on my hair. I don't typically do this. I try not to blow dry. If I do, I do it on medium heat or low heat. I try not to blow dry my hair that much because it is very damaging. And I like the way it just naturally dries like this. But a couple of my pieces of hair, because I do bleach, are a little more damaged than others. And it's not good for it. But I will take, this is the Duval styling brush. You can get a brush from anywhere. Um, and they gave me this a couple years ago. I think you can use coupon code Bridget to save 70% off of it. I don't know if it's still valid or not, but I just have this forever. I have it on low heat, so I have it on 285, 285 degrees. And I would just slowly... I should have brushed my hair first. I'll just slowly do that, and it'll get rid of some of the frizzies. This also, the heat protectant, does stop frizziness. Um, and it's color safe products, so none of these products, the leave-in conditioner or the heat protectant spray or the shampoo and conditioners have full sulfate, have sulfates or parabens in it. But if my hair is just a little bit too frizzy, I will take this on 285 degrees, which is very low, and I'll just kind of run it through and it'll help straighten it just a little bit to get rid of a little bit of excess frizz. I only have to do it on two or three pieces of my hair. The rest of my hair is decently healthy, you know, for being what it is, for being a heat damaged, a color damaged, a bleach damaged hair. My hair is overall pretty healthy. Like if you look at my hair up close, yeah sure it's a little ratty looking right now but it's really it's really strong, it's really healthy hair and I washed this yesterday not today. So overall this is all I do to my hair to keep it protected. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I can't talk right today. If you guys have any like um, recommendations on how to fix tonsillitis without getting them removed, please let me know down below. I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll leave all these products linked down below for you. Thank you to HSI for sponsoring today's video and hopefully this helped you protect your hair. If you have any other tips, I'd love to hear about them down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.